Hi, I'm Jeff and welcome to my shop. Uh, in this, what I'm hoping is going to be a quick project, I'm taking this kitchen door uh, from a friend's house that is pretty badly broken. Um, so he's hoping I can fix this at least well enough that it'll hold up for a couple of years for them until they're ready to replace their kitchen. So you can see what happens. So this, this is a uh, cope and stick style cabinet frame. Um, so the way that the rails and styles are joined, the two sides are routed to create this joint here. So it's, it's sort of like a mortise and tenon, uh, but just a little more interesting. Inside of that is a floating panel. So this floating panel, because the wood expands and contracts uh, with moisture through the seasons, it needs to be allowed to move inside of this frame that doesn't move in this direction. Uh, but this had apparently broken before, and in an attempt to repair it, this had been glued in. So this panel is broken off, uh, as well as the this is broken past the joint, and this is sort of broken through the joint. So my plan right now, and it may change, um, what I'm hoping to do is to go through everywhere uh, that's pulled apart, take out any glue that's in there, uh, create space to be able to bring it back together uh, and get a good uh, surface, clean surface to surface joint. And my plan is to glue it everywhere it is um, in this original joint here, but the, with the back broken off, this through this where it's where it's fractured and broken here and i am in fact going to glue the two halves of the panel back together so this is not a long-term fix because this panel will no longer be able to float uh, but i'm hoping it's strong enough that it'll hold up for a little while once i do that and i'm going to do that with epoxy so that i get a lot of strength and a lot of working time to just sort of finagle together depending on how that looks i may add some additional strength and ages from behind I may do a Dutchman or something. I, I haven't figured that out yet. But So let me go and take it over to the bench, um, clean it up as best I can, try to get it to fit back together pretty well, and glue it, and then we'll see from there. So uh, fingers crossed. Hopefully this goes well. We can get them at least you know two to five more years of use out of it. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoy this content, please feel free to check out some of the other stuff that I've done on this channel. Give me a like, subscribe, a comment. Uh, share with your friends, and uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.
So I got some total bow, two part epoxy here. I use some blue tape to mask off some parts of it. It's still not going to be pretty. So the best I can do, we'll see how that comes out. So after this was dried, I, I took it out of the clamps and looking at the front, I'm pretty happy with how this joint came together here. There's very little in the way of the gaps that aren't filled with uh, epoxy. This is reasonably well filled across here. There are a little bit of gaps on this one that I think I can address, but overall, this is maybe better than I thought it was gonna be. But flipping over the back, I don't know how well this shows up, but <clears throat> there's just a big piece of wood missing here. Uh, and that partially goes in and takes out part of this joint. So. I think I'm going to just cut this, chop this out square, and I'm going to put a piece of wood in there to make this as structural as I can. May have it out across here, but not glued to the panel. Give that still some opportunity to move, but start working on beefing this up. Once I glue a piece of wood in there, I'm going to sort of assess you how I feel about it and see if I want to add a Dutchman or something else. But so far, I hopefully we're going to be able to get some more use out of this, this door. There's a little tiny nail in here, and I can't really get the chisel in there without screwing up the chisel. So I'm gonna see if I can pop this nail out, pop it through, and deal with it from the other side. That's not going great, so I may end up getting a Dremel.
So two coats of polyurethane on here. Uh, this is done. So this is as good as I'm going to be able to do. Unfortunately, there was all that metal um, nails, etc., in there that were an issue with the tools. But I, I think this is all structurally sound. I would have preferred to have sort of an inlaid Dutchman or butterfly there, but wasn't going to be. But I think this joint is, is more or less structurally sound. This one feels pretty solid too. Um, Parts of this edge are glued into the side of the frame, so we're still going to have a challenge well, with wood movement here, but, but I certainly think this should hold up for a couple of years, and uh, they should be good to go. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Have a great day.